Hey guys, uh, my name is Tim Wadsworth and this is Dawson Martin and we oversee a live student ministry here at North Hills. So if you're receiving this video link, then that means that your kiddo is ready to transition from Treehouse uh, to our youth group here at our church. And we're actually really, really excited about that. Um, but unfortunately, we're not able to meet in person right now due to everything going on with COVID-19. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what we think this summer will look like. But in the meantime, we just want to share a little bit about ourselves, our hearts uh, for our student ministry, and how the partnership moving forward will work. So Dawson, share a little bit about yourself. So my name is Dawson Martin. I work with uh, the middle schoolers a whole bunch. So your kiddo that's headed into seventh grade, they're going to hang out with me a bunch. Uh, a little bit about myself. I actually started this in this youth group in seventh grade. Um, all the way through my senior year, and then I, apparently I just couldn't get enough of Tim, so I came back and uh, started uh, working as an intern over the summer, and then eventually they put me on staff as the, uh, the youth coordinator. Um, so that, that's a little bit about me. I, I mean, I go to North Greenville University. I'm studying sports management, but trying to be a youth pastor so I can, like... Star soccer player on the team? Not at, a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> Goalie. Yes, that's me. Same thing. The goalkeeper. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a little bit about me. Um, yeah. I absolutely love this youth group. Um, I've seen firsthand, I've been through it and then been on the opposite side of being a kid and then being in the leadership position. And, I, and this youth group is, is it's insanely special. Yeah. Um, people here, they love their kids. We are, our life groups are awesome. We have a bunch of life group leaders that are super great. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for this next year when we finally get to get back. And I can't tell you how much of a joy it's been to see Dawson grow up and mature in the Lord. I can't think of a better person to have as my right hand man. Uh, some of you guys know me, some of you don't. I've been on staff since 2011 overseeing the student ministry here. This summer will be my 10th summer. Oh, you're old. I'm really old. Uh, I turned 35 in June, and it's hard to believe that when the church hired me, I was 25. That's a little scary. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So uh, I can't tell you just how much of a joy it is to serve on the leadership team here at North Hills. And so what we want to do for the next few minutes is just kind of share with you our thoughts and somewhat concerned for summer 2020, but also tell you some proactive things that you can be doing as mom and dad so we can start this partnership together. So we don't know what summer 2020 is going to look like yet. However, um, we're going to give you some ways to stay connected and well informed with our youth group so that you can kind of be uh, tracking with us and, and keeping in step with us as we do this transition. So if COVID-19 wasn't here, June 7th uh, was going to be the first Sunday that we were going to welcome in our brand new rising 7th graders. But since we're not doing that, uh, we want to give you three things uh, that will be wonderful avenues for you to stay connected and in step with us in the coming days. Dawson, talk about our website. So our website is it's, it's very, it's very, it's a nice website. We recently got an IT guy who's really put put it together and made it look super nice. Um, the website is alivestudentministry.com. Um, and you you can remember it because we are a live student, student ministry. ministry. Um, so what we what we would like for you guys to do is there's not much on there right now, obviously because of COVID nineteen. But familiar yourself, familiarize yourself. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a word. Uh, with the website, um, you know, because like there's there's a parent tab that's just for you guys. There's a tab that talks about uh, our summer, everything that's going on during the summer. Hopefully, if we can get back as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, but we try to make it as easy to use as possible. Um, if you have any questions, like all of my information is on there, all of Tim's information and our admin, Hope Tin, and she's on there as well. Um, if you have any questions, you can head through there. You can just kind of familiar, familiarize. I'm making that a word. It's a hard word. It is a hard word. No, but seriously, it's very user-friendly. So go to alivestudentministry.com, get familiar uh, with how to use it. That's, that's There's uh, a parent tab, which is just for you. There's a lot of helpful things in there of ways that Dawson and I want to partner with you. One of those is something that we do once a month called family huddles. Mm -hmm. And what's really important about family huddles is it exists to do three things, to connect you, to inform you and to encourage you. And we think those three things is going to be a really important thing that we, as the parents of North Hills, need to consistently be uh, vigilant in with meeting for that once a month. Mm -hmm. And so many of the things that we think is really important is to connect you to each other. It's crazy to know that a lot of parents do not know each other in our church. Uh, we want to encourage you with outside voices. 
We don't have teenagers yet. You're not even married. He has no kids. No kids. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure out a three-year-old. Okay, so we get it. Like, we work with teenagers, but we're not parenting teenagers. So what we want to do in Family Huddles is bring in the expert outside voices to really encourage you with how to better disciple and love your kids in a season of middle school and high school. Like, they're, they're tough. Yeah. And then we want to inform you. We want to inform you with what's going on in culture and what's trending. We want to inform you with what's going on in our youth group. So head over to the parent tab of AliveStudentMinistry.com. You can watch previous family huddles that we have recorded. We also have a media tab. Yeah. So if you're wondering, like, what does Dawson teach? What does Tim teach? Uh, I'm so glad you asked. You can go back in our archive and watch previous times of teaching and sermons. You can even go back to the parent tab, and we always will post the teaching outline of what we will be trying to influence your kid with, with what te uh, scripture teaches. So bear with us for this summer. Uh, we, we really don't know what's going to be going on, but make sure you visit our website frequently. frequently. There you go. Uh, and then we want you guys to follow us on social media. Talk a little bit more about social media. So we actually have um, four, three platforms, but four pages that you guys can follow. Um, on Facebook, we have a live student ministry page that just kind of encompasses our students, the leaders, you guys as well. But we also have a live parent page. Just for Just you. Just for you guys. So if there's any information, and I know especially if you guys are, your kids in seventh grade, it's going to be kind of difficult because not all of them have cell phones, not all of them are online or have social media. But Which if is you guys, great. That's a good thing. Awesome thing. I fully support that. Um, but we want to be able to communicate with you guys. And I know just because I've been doing it for the past two years, communicating to you through your kids is not always reliable because they forget or no. they forget. They just talk uh, gibberish back to you right. and then you get mad at us. Right. So it's not the, helpful. Our social media is a way for us to really get connected directly to you. Um, so Facebook has an Alive page. It's got a parent page. We also have an Which Instagram. Which is Alive Student Ministry. Sorry, yes. The one for you is Alive Student Ministry Parents. Right. So log on, search for us, and ask to join, and we will obviously let you into the group. A lot of what the page is for is just to post helpful resources to equip you as the parent. And if you have any questions or want to dialogue with other moms and dads, that's a safe, closed environment. Right. To do that, it's it's a private Facebook page, so not anyone, not some weirdos, not going to join us. But we right. we allow people in, so we make sure it's as safe as possible. And frequently on our uh, platforms of social media, we like to go live. Yes. And so one of the things that we've been doing over the ten weeks that we haven't had youth group, we've yeah. been doing virtual alive at five, and you can do that on our Instagram, and Twitter, Facebook. and Facebook. Yeah. And so those are ways that you can get comfortable with us, familiar with us, and kind of know what we're all about and what your kid will be coming into. Uh, so website, social media, and every week we send out a weekly parent email. And that email is going to encompass everything you need to know for the week. We're also going to put teaching outlines. We're going to put helpful stuff that you need to know, whether it's registration for events or whether we have camp deadlines coming up, whatever the case may be. If you don't get the parent email every week, you're going to be clueless to kind of the heartbeat of what we're doing right. throughout the week. So it's really important you get those. Yeah. So you're, you'll probably get one or two emails. One's going to be from Tim kind of as an overview, like this is what our youth group is going to do. And then one's going to be from me that's going to be a little bit more in depth about, hey, this is our teaching outline that your kids are going to be hearing and talking with their life groups. Um, we just we really want to partner with you guys. Like that's the whole point of the youth yeah. group is being on the same page. Um, and, mm -hmm. and over communicating is always better than under communicating. So when you receive two emails, please don't think that's oh these guys are just being annoying. We want to make them. sure you don't get, delete them. Please read them. We want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, occasionally we'll have like a middle school party and um, just so like our kids can enjoy being around their life group leaders, their friends, and that that email will go out and we'll say hey could you help us by bringing some food? And if your kid doesn't bring food, it's not the end of the world, but you know they don't eat. They don't eat. That's just that's kidding. a lie. So obviously, what we want this video to serve as is not the nitty-gritty steps to set your kid up for success. We'll send that in the weeks to come once we know when youth group is going to meet again. Yeah. What we want to end our time uh, together with is kind of let you know, obviously, a part of family huddles as a way to partner with you. I want to just share as we close what the purpose of every single leader in our youth group is going to do. So behind us in our wall, you should hopefully see no show grow. And Here's, if we're covering it up, it says yeah. no show grow. If you can't grow. see it, I promise, it, it's right there. Uh, every leader on Sunday night and throughout the week is going to get to know your kid. Mm -hmm. And not just know about them, but deeply and intimately get to know them. 
And we think that's really, really helpful. Every kid longs, really every adult, yeah. to be known. And so we want them, when they come through the doors every Sunday night, that they know that this is their second family, and we know them, and we love them. And then the second step is we want to show them that we love them and that they matter to us. So like my wife knows I love her. I still got to show her I love her constantly, all the time. All the time. I don't just look at my wife and say, hey, look, 13 years ago, I said I do. That should be enough. No, because I would be sleeping on the couch and in Peter Hubbard's office for counseling. <laughs> Uh, I, we're going to consistently pursue your kid and show them how much we love them and how much the Father loves them. And we think if you do know and show really well, it just incites growth. You can help them grow in Jesus. When you say jump, they say how high. When you need to hold them accountable, they'll listen. A lot of kids, man, when they say you don't know me, it can be annoying. There's a lot of truth in that. And so we don't want to just go right to grow. And a big part of what Dawson is doing in middle school, we want to get to know them, we want to show them that we love them, so when they come to high school, the prime is ready to be pumped, and, and we see a lot of growth in doing that. So, we want to end our time in saying we're grateful for you. We are so excited to bring your kid into our youth group. Yeah, we're, we're super excited, you know, like it's obviously the past couple months have been super weird, you've been around your kid a lot, especially if you like aren't used to homeschooling, and then all of a sudden you're homeschooling for what feels like forever. Um, so we're super excited when the summer kicks off, whenever we get to meet, just to kind of get to know your kids. And then in August, when we get started with our new school year, um, to really, really, like like Tim was saying, get to know them, show them we love them, and help them grow uh, throughout the year. Because yeah. that's our goal. So, yeah. My cell phone number is 864-363-2206. That's obviously not on the website. Uh, but I want every parent to have my number. If you have any questions in the coming days, feel free to call or text if you're more introverted. And if you're extremely introverted, email. Yeah. Tim W at NorthHillsChurch.com. Dawson M at NorthHillsChurch.com. Yeah, and listen, we're just here for you. We want to come alongside you, help you in these trying yet awesome years that your kids are literally stepping out of childhood and walking to adulthood. And our whole goal is just to set them up for success so when they go to college... We have given them everything they need to find and follow Jesus Christ. Uh, we love you. We're praying for you. We hope this disease, by God's grace, goes away so that we can get back to life as yeah. normal. And in the coming weeks, we're going to send another video on how do they check in. Where are the bathrooms? The more in-depth. Yeah, uh, what is Dollar questions. Dinner? Right. Uh, all how these much great money things. does my kid need to eat too much junk food at the snack shop? Yeah, who are my kid's life group leaders and how do I talk with them? We will fill you in with all of that when it's an appropriate time. But in the meantime, this is who we are. This is what we're all about. Go to our website, follow us on social media, and make sure you're getting those weekly parent emails to stay connected and well-informed. Yeah, sounds really good.